Well, I guess it's obvious that this video is going to be about the Voigtlander Vito CSR, a rangefinder camera back from the 60s. Maybe you remember two videos ago, I made a video on the Voigtlander Vito Red, which is a viewfinder camera back from the 60s. With a viewfinder camera, you need to either measure or estimate the lens to subject distance. With a rangefinder camera, we are assisted in our focusing by means of a focusing patch. So we are able to pinpoint focus on the subject of our choice within the composition, enabling us to use larger apertures, for example, 2.8, 4 or 5.6 so we can be more precise and creative with regards to achieving a shallow depth of field. This is something that is very difficult to achieve with a viewfinder camera. The biggest difference besides a being a viewfinder and a rangefinder with regards to these two cameras is the lens. The lens on the viewfinder is a Voigtlander 50mm 2.8 color lantar lens. The lens on the Voigtlander Vito CSR is a color scopar, and that is of a Tessar type. This lens will give sharper images with much better contrast. So when I received this camera from Hans at the Photo Fuckhuis, I was very curious and keen on using this rangefinder camera. Also because it has a built-in light meter and it is in working condition. Maybe you remember that this viewfinder has no light meter, so you will always need to use an external light meter. So this rangefinder camera has everything going for it, even the price. And to be honest with you, I was so excited to use this camera and at the end so satisfied with the results that is now mine. Thanks Hans. I am now the proud owner of this Voigtlander Vito CSR and for me this is an absolute keeper. And this camera so much proves the point that you do not need an expensive camera to get excellent images. Is it faultless? No it's not, but it has so much going for it with regards to its internal light meter, the fact that it is a rangefinder, and also the fact that it has a high quality lens. There are a few interesting things about this camera. When you look through the viewfinder and you focus on your subject, it is very easy to distinguish between the aperture ring and the shutter speed ring, which is great, you never make a mistake. The shutter speed ring clicks into position and the aperture ring is variable which means that you can use in between apertures, something that I can really appreciate. It is a leaf shutter and it has the same shutter mechanism as on the Vito Red and this one is in excellent working condition and it is extremely quiet and there's no resistance in this shutter button. So for me it was very easy to use shutter speeds down to 1 30th of a second. It's easy to hand hold, click the shutter and get a sharp image. Very nice build quality. Maybe a little bit on the heavy side but something that you can really get used to. And the downside maybe for me for this camera is the fact that it only came with a 50 millimeter fixed lens. It would have been a killer rangefinder for me if it would have had a 35 millimeter or maybe even a 28 millimeter lens because I can really appreciate my wide angle lens. But besides that, I guess this camera for me is the perfect, affordable, high quality, well built rangefinder back from the 60s. One thing that is inherent to many viewfinder and rangefinder cameras from the past is the fact that your viewfinder window is sometimes not exactly level, which means that your images are going to be a little bit off center. And this you can only find out after you've shot a roll of film. 
and I'll show you two examples now before and after I adjust it for a precise level image. Which means that you either have to get it fixed or you will have to adjust this in your post processing and you will need to slightly crop your image. Well, before I show you the images that I was able to achieve, I would like to say that it took me three weeks to shoot through a roll of Kodak Portra 400, 36 images. And I guess many of us cope with this same issue that when you work a day job, Monday to Friday, and it's busy at work, it's very difficult to find time to make photos. And for me also, to make videos for my YouTube channel. And that's the reason why it took me three weeks. It was very busy at work. My solution for this is to make sure that you always have your camera with you, even on working days. There's always an opportunity to make a photo. So that's what I've been doing. This camera went with me every day of the week for the past three weeks. And I've taken my time to shoot through a roll of 36. And when the opportunity was there, I had my camera with me and I took the photos. Bottom line conclusion, if you can find a Voigtlander Vito CSR in good working condition for the right price, don't even hesitate, just go out and buy one because it is an excellent camera and it produces great images. So I'm very happy that I'm now the proud owner of this camera. The next video, I can already tell you, is going to be about the Nikon F2 with a very interesting series of lenses. And if everything goes right, I'm also going to make some portrait shots with that camera and those lenses. Looking forward to it. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.